Well, the shock and disbelief continues tonight in Lake Wales after a quadruple murder. Friends and loved ones are trying to wrap their heads around how something this horrendous could happen. A mother and her three children were shot to death on Tuesday by the woman's boyfriend, who was ultimately killed by police. Fox 13's Ken Suarez shows us how loved ones are trying to cope. Flowers and condolences outside the door of the Pizarro family's apartment don't begin to express the loss. The lives of Marlene Pizarro and her three children were taken within minutes of each other by the... She looks like a Patel, but she's an ombre, though. Doesn't she look like a Patel? I can see the Patel. But she's an yeah, ombre, though. Leaning on that. She's a whole ombre, though. Uh. Lane Pizarro and her three children were taken within minutes of each other by the woman's boyfriend, Al Stinson. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. He this killed nigga him. here, man. Yeah, he, he, killed more, he killed more than her. He killed more than her. Yeah. More than four bodies. That's, that was yeah. his first bodies. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. He killed her 21, 17, and 12-year-old kids. He, she was fucking with this though. Why so were you bring this around your children? Uh, uh, so one of them was eighteen, on. right? Uh, yeah. Shorty wanted a thug. That's that's the reason. And, she brought and him around. Yeah, results. no doubt. The, I I I, I used so. to say this all the time. She, she she set her kids up. She brought that guy around her kids. Mm -hmm. That's not their father. This is a, a relatively new boyfriend. Mm. What a stupid, I mean, I'm sorry, what a stupid home. <laughs> I mean, at some point, we got to start calling Terrible. this out, man. At some point, because, I mean, right. like, the children didn't ask for this, man. Her kids right. did not ask for this, man. Right, and that goes for any man, I, but in particular, I'm sorry, in particular, the, the brothers. But See, any I'm a son, right? I'm a son, so my all my sister's boyfriends look like that guy. You know what I'm saying? All my sister's boyfriends look like that. They all got criminal records. She got one fucking baby daddy who, who, who's a, like a certified G. The other ones is just D-boys and, and gangsters and shit. And and it's like that. You know, all my, all the females in my family, they, it's all, I'm so like, that's just normal for, for sons. But you know what? I, that rem you made a great uh, comment about that a long time ago now. It got, it got my attention. You said how the scenario you just gave where they'll bring a son man around who had who was like thug, but they don't really know for what. So he could be a sex offender. Right. And they, they just think oh, he was murdered. They never check. Black women never do that low. You know how that 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 website where they ask you if you want to find out somebody's background and then when you press it, it it's it, you gotta pay and shit. Right. They never check, they never do background checks on anybody. Hell, Hell no! Some people ain't right. they, 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 they just figure they get insurance, right? They just figure it was like drugs or maybe a yeah, murder. Exactly, exactly. They just they yeah they they so they, like they, right. yeah. But a lot of girls like homeboy said earlier like shorty want a thug man. A lot of girls just want that type of shit anyway. Right. Or, or maybe an attempt murder, but sister or or female whatever. What about the kids? What if this yeah. motherfucker like kids? Yeah, it's just like I'm looking at her face, and listen, I don't know, but I don't see grizzled on Brita. I see like a she don't have it. You know how on Brita's look? You can see it in their face when they street and they hood. The Chola? Like, yeah, she looked like she a was homesick. Home yeah, she was a teacher, right? Yeah, I think she was a teacher. Yeah, she was a teacher. So yeah, she wasn't like she wasn't was a teaching. A, yeah, she wasn't a um. She wasn't a um a, um a thug thug missus. <laughs> the lives of Marlene Pizarro and her three children were taken within minutes of each other by the woman's boyfriend Al Stinson, who police eventually tracked down and killed in a motel in Sanford. But justice was served, not the way that I wanted it to be, but it was served. Pizarro's brother remembers her as the family's rock when crisis would hit. Like last year when my dad, my dad passed away, she was the one. She was the the pillar. She holds this. She was holding it all together. Now it's my turn and my brother's turn to hold my to be the pillar to, for my mom to be good. Lake Wells police still don't have a motive. They have no idea why someone would just go berserk and kill four innocent people. Pizarro taught kids with learning challenges at Lake. Her whole bloodline is wiped out. He wiped out her whole legacy. That was high school. I know how much she poured into them, and yeah, she taught at high school. Hold on, here's a... I know how much she poured into them. 
go berserk and kill four innocent people. Pizarro taught kids with learning challenges at Lake Wales High School. I know how much she poured into them, and I, I can't imagine the loss that they're feeling because as a grown adult, I'm having a hard time processing it. From the first time Dr. Hutto met Pizarro at Warner University, where she was a student, she was impressed with her passion for teaching. She truly felt this is what God called her to do. It was a calling. Now her brother says the island of her birth is calling her back. And my mother's wish is to bring her back to Puerto Rico, and we're going to bury her on our island, on our, on our soil. Tiano, Indian. Long before anyone ever expected it. Yeah, she a whole Indian. That's what, I, that's what, she a prayer for tell, man. She a whole wow. Tiano Indian, man. Damn. Mm, mm, mm.